بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أنا أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه وأنا نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه رواه بخاري ومسلم متفق عليه Prophet ﷺ said that a believer does not have, does not believe, does not truly believe till he loves and wants for his brother what he wants for himself. And that was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, there are immense benefits and fawaid, but on our journey, we'll keep it very simple. That it's important for us as believers remind ourselves to try to try to strive for to increase our iman camel iman meaning that the person who doesn't fulfill that doesn't fulfill that brotherhood does not mean they have no iman that's not what the statement of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam means as the ulama of hadith have explained according to the manhaj of the salaf of the ummah radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so it lets us know that the iman is naqs that your iman is less if you don't help your brother. This is the affair of the mu'min as he strives to have camel iman, to strengthen his iman and to help and assist his brother. Letting us know that true Iman there. You know, full Iman is not achieved unless you want for your brother what you want for yourself. So wanting for the believers, wanting good for the believers, loving one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, striving to help and assist one another, as this is a reminder for us all, because we all fall short in this, some of us more than others, that we should remind ourselves to help our brothers and sisters when they're in, when they need. And wanting for them what we want for ourselves, wanting good for one another. That's the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, we have to strive to help one another. If someone is restricted in their wealth, and if you have the means to be able to assist them, assist them. If someone needs a good loan, and they're a person of righteousness, who will pay the loan back, or what have you, strive your utmost to relieve their difficulty. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.